name's Courtney and this is Kingsley. So today we're going to do a day in the life of a three month old baby. She's actually nearly four months. So doing, she's actually nearly four months, aren't you darling? A lot has changed in the last few weeks. So I wanted to really just go over everything really clearly and run through her routines and stuff like that. So a few things we'll be addressing in this video. One, I'll be going through her sleep routines and her self-settling techniques that we use because she now fully self-settles at all of her sleeps. And by self-settle, I mean literally no crying or fussing really whatsoever. So that's been a big win for us and for her and we're just a happier family in general. So I thought I'd run through that. Secondly, I wanted to run through all of her medications and her vitamins that she's on as she was diagnosed with silent reflux about a month ago. So I want to run through that and her feeding schedule. What else do we want to talk about? I also wanted to run through her colic medication that she has been on again since birth because that does work in conjunction with all of her other medications that have really helped her to settle and just be a happier baby. Um, she is such an easy baby now. I couldn't ask for an easier baby. She is genuinely just a pleasure to be around. So I think all of these little things together that we've put have really made a significance in her and our happiness. We're also going to discuss Kingsley's milestones as of late and also ones that I feel she probably should be doing now or other pet babies have have done these and she hasn't yet. So that was a concern of mine. Not really a concern, but it is something, you know, that I want to discuss. And other things that she's doing that other babies are not doing as well. So yeah, we'll run through that. What else? What else, sister? What else are we going to talk about? There was one more thing. Oh, another thing I wanted to discuss is a few of her newest behaviours that she has developed over the last few weeks and um, become a little bit stubborn, haven't you, in certain areas. You're just too smart for your own good, really. She's definitely an alert baby and she really lets us know what she wants and if she doesn't like something she will yell at you. She actually, not cry, she will yell at you. It's quite funny to be honest, it's so cute. Like do you honestly think you're gonna make a, you will. I know, you have this wrapped around your little finger don't you? So how about we get to our bottle and our medicine now, okay? If you haven't already please like this video and also please hit the subscribe button for more videos regarding family and children and just general lifestyle. Thanks. Say bye. Say thanks. You've got to say thanks. We can't go until you say thanks. Say thanks. You say thanks. Got anything to say? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, let's feed you your bottle. So it is uh, oh, can you even see me? I'm down here. I'm we're down here. Ready? We're down here. <laughs> follow, follow the camera. All right, let's. How's that? Better? Let's come forward. Oh, what did Mummy do? There we go. Okay. Oh, that's better, don't you reckon? You do. Okay. Yeah, so it is actually 1.30 in the afternoon. So this is not a whole day routine, I guess. Um, not much has truly happened today. Medicine time. Not much has happened so far. We just stopped to the supermarket this morning. Are you okay? Oh, did that one not go down easy? Oh, you don't, okay, okay. Okay, sorry, mommy, sorry. Okay. Okay, lay on your back then, that's easier for you, I know. There you go. Is it better like that? Go figure, I don't understand. Ow. I know, it's better for you like that for some reason. So this morning, Kingsley woke up at 10 past 6 herself. Um, and then she went back to bed at 10 past 8. So we normally hold her up for two hours of a morning. And then 
she went back to sleep for her usual, which is 40 minutes of the morning. She never sleeps more than that in the morning. I'm pretty flexible with her day sleeps, to be honest. Um, she does, like, I do abide by wake time, so I'll never let her go more than two hours. Uh, yeah. If I think she's getting overtired and she won't sleep longer than 40 minutes, I'll put her down sooner. So I have been known the last few weeks if she is up to her third sleep and she or second sleep and she's woken up after 40 minutes just to go half an hour after and put her back down after she wakes. Yeah, and that's done the trick. Then she'll often go down for two or three hours. Um, whereas I find if I hold her up two hours after every sleep and they're 40 minutes sleep, she gets really overtired and will only sleep the 40 minutes. So that sucks. But um, yeah, she's been going longer during the day. So she'll have about three 40 minute sleeps throughout the whole day. She'll have one, as I said, at about eight, about 10, and then sometimes in the afternoon, uh, about your four o'clock mark. If she, uh, that's if she, uh, what am I saying? She will also have a big sleep. Normally when her body finally gives up and she realizes she needs more than 40 minutes and she'll go two to three hours. So she just had her big sleep then. She only had two hours. She'll want another sleep before I go out this afternoon. Won't you? You'll definitely need another sleep. But yesterday, she woke up from her big sleep at 3.30 and we put her to bed at 7, 6.30 or 7 o'clock every single night without fail. We never let her sleep past 5 o'clock at night. So because she woke at 3.30, I actually couldn't give her her afternoon sleep. So you were pretty tired by the time you went to bed, weren't you? Yeah, oh, I'm sorry I'm talking to you. Yeah, you get sad when I talk to you because you think it's your time to talk about your sadness. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, you. Okay. What's wrong? What's wrong? You're very, yeah. Look at you. Whew. Yeah, so we're very strict. We're not very strict on times per se for her naps during the day. I go put her down whenever, you know, she feels like it. It's okay, mummy's just talking. I'm just talking. Why won't you let me live? I'm just talking. Okay? We good? Oh my gosh. Okay. So, this is where she's angry. She's angry. Um, so, what was I saying? Yeah, so... The only thing with Kingsley is if you take her out of the house, say I went shopping or anything like that, she'll stay awake that whole time. She doesn't sleep out and about. She's not one of those babies that are just sleeping all over the place. Not anymore. She requires her bed and her bed bag, the bag that she sleeps in, which is the baby love bags. It's, that all has to be in place. Her sound machine has to be on and then she will happily self-settle. She sometimes falls asleep in the car, but will wake up after 10 minutes. So basically, she will stay awake all day. Genuinely pretty happy. Like, she's cranky at the moment, but um, genuinely pretty happy. But she will not sleep unless she has her dark room. And that works for me because I am sort of a homebody. I would rather stay home and give her that two or three hours sleep every single day. I don't want... I didn't want her to be just napping all over the place. Um, that's just not who I am. It's not who I am as a mother and it's not for what works for me. And it's not what I did with the boys. So the boys were in a pretty good routine too. Um, and I find that that re gives a return at night. So the, the reason she's been so good at night since birth is because I have really gotten her used to her bed and her cot. So she will go down without fail at 6.30, 7 o'clock every night after her bedtime routine. And she will stay asleep until 6 or 7 o'clock that next morning. She does wake up for bottles. She wakes up for one bottle at about 1.30 in the morning. And lately she has been waking up at about 5.30 and we've been giving her one then. And she will, thankfully, 80% of the time will self-settle back to 
seven o'clock. So your mummy talking. You're still so tired, see? You didn't need to wake up after two hours. No. I don't know why you woke. Um, yeah, so that is just a saving grace with her. She sleeps all night, basically, except for one feed, and that's better than I could ask for. So I think with Kingsley, she knows that she's in her bed. There's no getting her out. Once I want her to go to bed, there's no getting her out. She's never come out past 7 o'clock. I, we, me and John used to go in there. We don't take phones in there. We don't let lights on. We don't communicate with her. We're very matter of fact. We feed her and put her straight back down. She almost knows because that is always what we've done. She knows that is, she's not coming out. And so she just accepts it. It's bizarre. She doesn't cry or anything. It's so weird. Anyway, so yeah, she just goes down and she's really easy. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that, hey? One of the things, like the behaviours that I mentioned before um, that I've been noticing with her lately is she hates it when we sit down to feed her. So I'm shocked she's doing, like letting me sit here now. She, that's what the tantrum was when we came, when I sat down. She wants me walking around the house to feed her or at least standing and like rocking. John can't stand it. This is a new behavior in like the last week. I don't know how she knows the difference. Like I just, I do not know how she knows the difference, but she knows and she tries it every single time. Daddy won't stand though, will he? No, he made you lay sit like this last night, didn't he? Yeah, because we know you're hungry. You're just stubborn. Yeah, you're cheeky as well. Aren't you? You are so cheeky. You want a burp? Don't start. Don't start. Oh. Excuse me. What was that? That was the biggest burpee I've ever heard out of a baby. Oh, you're burping now. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, don't get angry. Oh, now you're going to get angry. Oh. I just said you were an easy baby and now you've done nothing but yell at me since I got on this video. Hmm? It's because you just woke up and you didn't want to? Hmm? Sometimes when she prematurely wakes up, what happens, my love? You get angry with me. Like, I've woken you up for some reason. Like, I did. I didn't. I'm happy for you to sleep. <laughs> yeah, you're very cute, but you stink. You stink. Have desire to see your face, your smile, to be with you wherever you place. to show you guys what we do after our sleeps which is play on our mat but I think you're tired again you're very upset when she's upset as I said the only thing that will calm her down is her sleep bag and yeah her sleep bag makes the world of difference also she loves music and I just turned the music off so music is our savior she loves music you're just like mummy aren't you as soon as music goes on you're happy um, yeah, last night she didn't sleep, like, three, as I said, she woke up at 3.30 and it was 6 o'clock at this stage and she was still happy in her bouncer, just listening to mummy's music. Where's your sweetie pie? Um, so I was going to show you that, but I can't now. Hmm? Should we go and try and put you down? We'll go and try and put you down to sleep. Okay. And then I'll, and then we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah, I'll cry. Yeah, take this ridiculous thing off your head. You hate it when you're tired. Don't you? oh, look at the markets left. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. We'll go get your sleep bag. Whew. I just jumped on my iPhone because my camera 
is too hard to hold with her in my hand, isn't it, without a tripod? And you're not gonna give me a second, are you, to organize anything, you just want your what you want. Hmm? Okay. Okay, so we come up here, we make sure all the lights are off, so I'll turn that off in a minute. We turn her shower machine on, which is still left on from last sleep. Silly mummy. You like the phone, don't you? Hmm? So she's fed, she's burped, her nappy's been changed. What now? Bag? Pop you in your bag? Okay. All right. But because it's scorching hot in here today, because silly me was cold and left the aircon on heat, it's hot. So her room's saying 23.5 degrees, which is not that hot, I guess, but I've put her light sleeping bag on. This is a thick one, like with an inbuilt quilt. So that's the one she had on before. So I won't be doing putting that on now. She's having a look at her light so I can talk for a second. You like your light? It might just be a bit too close to your face. Hmm? Okay. Now what she, what we normally do, so she knows now that it's coming up bedtime because her bag's on. And usually I get her to do exercise, like I said, but she's not in the great test mood, are you sweetheart? So I won't make her do exercise. <laughs> I'm gonna try and put her down. What happened to my, oh my God. What happened to my makeup? Jeez, all right. Jeez, okay. So I'm sweating and looking like a mess. Yes. So I just clean her room quickly. Anyway, so in a minute, what we normally do is turn all the lights off, I'll pick her up and I'll rock her for about, oh, it's different every time to be honest, but until she turns her head. So she will turn her head into my almost underarm when she's ready for bed and she'll shut her eyes. Then I give her like 60 seconds and I will sing to her in those 60 seconds. And then I put her down fully awake. Excuse my makeup. I don't know what this is. It looks like a big dirt patch. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but Oh, what happened? Um, yeah, so I put her down fully awake and I leave the room. And she'll literally, sometimes she'll just like scream once, like one yell, not even a scream, like it's just like a yell. And then she'll just go to sleep. So that's that's the goal anyway. <laughs> now that I've said it, what's a bet she doesn't? What's a bet? She makes me look like a liar. Ready for bed? <sighs> So she's actually fussing a little bit more than she usually does, which sort of tells me I may have put her in a bit too soon. Probably only five or 10 minutes too soon, but she's not crying. She just sort of whimpers. She will go to sleep. If she was to actually like start crying like a lot, I would walk in there and just do exactly what I just did again and make sure to put her down like wake and that normally does the trick, but mm, she doesn't normally require me to go back in. I'll just keep an eye on her. Okay, so she did that for about two minutes. Yeah, two minutes, because I did a voice recording to my sister, and that was two minutes. So she stopped just before I finished. And now she's completely asleep. So that's what I mean. She just goes down easy. And I know all of those, you know, YouTube mums that always say that their kids are super easy and everyone looks and thinks, you know, why is my baby not like that? And trust me, I've had difficult babies that I made me not want to have more, to be honest. Like, just a nightmare. Um, but yeah, I think 
as I said before, everything that we've done has contributed to her being this way. And no two babies are the same. She may just have an easy personality. I mean, she might take after her father because, yeah, she might take after her father. And he's very, like, chill, easy. So, yeah, anyway, she's out. So I might go downstairs and show you a few of her medications and her feeding schedule. All right, so I've got to start getting ready. I've got to start getting ready, clearer, for skating. My sons go to skating every Tuesday afternoon, so it's only five minutes down the road, so I take baby girl there. She loves it. It's so loud. So much happening. Um, first thing I did when she was born... Two, like two weeks after she was born actually was I noticed she had a lot of colic and I actually did notice signs of silent reflux but because there was so like she was so little and most babies do throw up a little bit you know I thought I don't want to diagnose her um even though I do know the signs it runs in my family my son had it I do know the signs it was just not extreme enough or should I say she wasn't as unsettled enough. She wasn't unsettled enough for me to say that there was something really wrong. So I ended up getting on this medication called Wilby's. It's an all natural remedy and you do have to ring the company. It's compounded. So you ring the company or and have a consultation really quick and easy. And then they send you out a bottle. Then they send you reminders every few weeks and you can get more sent out. So that was the first thing I got her on. And you just need to text them when... Their, their weight increases so I put her on that and that was a game changer like absolutely game changer the only time I noticed that she would be unsettled is when I wasn't on the correct dose and she had increased weight so that was great and then all of a sudden when she was three months old when reflux actually does flare up um I noticed that she was a lot more unsettled and this just wasn't doing it. She was on the highest dose that they could have given her, so there was no room to move, which is when I just dis discussed with the doctor, look, she's really unsettled. All of these signs I'm seeing, I think it's reflux. And they ended up putting her on the low sec, which is one meal a day. This combined with that and a few other things I'm doing, Honestly, like I've said, it, I'm, I'm just going to keep saying it. I'm just going to keep saying it, keep saying it, and keep saying it because she it's a game changer. It really is a game changer. So the the terminal, terminal the proper name for this is omes, om, omeprazole. Omeprazole. Now, it is for babies, so it's, again, compounded. I think you can get it for adults, but it's not compounded, so they'll make that at the chemist for you. Um, and you just get a script from your doctor. And my son was on this, and it's amazing. It's really good. I've had her on these probiotics for her tummy since she was born, and all babies should be on a good probiotic. This one was researched, like scientifically backed up. There was a lot of, you know, positive reviews on this one, and it is quite pricey, but in my opinion, it's worth it. So she just takes, she used to take half a satchel a day in a bottle, and now she takes a full satchel. The only thing is I don't put it in a full bottle because she doesn't always finish her bodies, bod bodies, her bottles. She doesn't always finish them. So I give her 60 mils with this and then I'll give her another bottle if she finishes the 60 mils, which she does. What's John want? What does John want? Okay, sorry. Um, okay, where was our two? Yes, so those three. Now. Before the omeprazole was compounded, so it took about five days because it was over the Easter long weekend, I asked John to duck to the supermarket after work and grab some of this formula. Now, this formula is S26 Gold, and it's for babies with regurgitation or reflux issues, mild reflux. And I literally saw probably a 50% Improvement, improvement. I literally saw a 50% improvement just with the reflux um, formula alone. It is a lot thicker, so it's harder to come up, and it was just it really worth it. It was a little bit more expensive, $5 more, 
but who cares really for five dollars like you're feeding your baby um what else i think this is the last thing so this so the formula the only thing i didn't like about it and i was prepared i, I knew that this would be the case was it does cause constipation because it's so thick so I was, I gave her an enema a few days. She was really constipated. She couldn't get it out. We had about a week of that. It was, it was quite painful for her, the poor thing. And she just couldn't sleep. And she was doing nuggets all day long. So what I did was I went and got, I spoke to the doctor first, but I went and got this, which is over the counter medication, medication, over the counter treatment, um, which is a stool softener. So this just softens, softens, softens softens her feces <laughs> you can tell i was a nurse once because i'm just so like i i was an aged care nurse for 10 years so please don't mind my bluntness around poop talk and i have two boys so really yeah you've come to the wrong channel if you are sensitive um yeah so all of these things are necessary the only thing I'm doing is I'm thinking of getting her off this um, because this was for colic and I think the other one is just going to be strong enough because it's prescribed to probably take away all of the issues. But I haven't yet, but I think that this is what I will wean her off soon. So she's on a three hour feeding schedule. Although I'm really not strict with feeding, I feed her when I think she's hungry because sometimes even if I wait three hours, excuse moi, can you even see me this way? Sometimes if I even wait, like if I wait three hours, she doesn't finish her bottle. Um, just like anyone, she's just maybe not hungry. So she doesn't finish her bottle and then she's hungry two hours later. So I just feed her as much as she wants during the day. And they say, oh, look, They'll get into a habit of wanting a bottle every two hours. They'll get into a habit and then they'll wake all night. To be honest, that's just not what happened. That's just, yeah. I, and I did that with my boys and I've never really had a problem. I, I really haven't. I mean, it doesn't transfer over tonight. The only thing is, is I, as I said, I was really strict with the night routines, really strict with the mood. I'm on fire today. The room, the room. <laughs> you know, and everything like that, that is what I see helps her sleep through the night, not the feeding schedule. So she's just on, yeah, 200 mils, 180, but by the time you put formula in it, it does go to 200 every two or three hours. Um, yeah, and I find that that's working for her. So that's really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm not planning on changing anything at this moment in time. She starts solids in... She's nearly four months next week. I started my boys on solids at four months. I'm away for the weekend next weekend with the boys. I'm taking them to Canberra and she's staying here with her dad and her sisters. So I'm not going to start her until I get back. So she'll be like four months and two weeks, four and a half months. Um, and then, yeah, I'll just start her then. So I think that may be when I can maybe stop the Wilbies and... We'll just see how she goes without that. We're going to be pushed for time when she wakes up because we have to leave here at about 20 past three. It is 10 to two now. That's 10 to three now, sorry. So I hope she doesn't plan on having another big sleep because she doesn't normally do that. She only has one big sleep a day. Um, and we have to go as soon as basically she wakes up. So I'm going to get her bottle ready her four o'clock bottle i did give her one at two o'clock but i'll give her one at four o'clock and because she won't get her night bottle till about 6 30 when her father comes home and after her shower so we do things pretty you know strict routine around here at night time because we value our sleep and we want her down at seven so we don't change the routine plus she loves her shower Got her medication, her probiotic, which I'll put in the 60 ml bottle at skating. And I've popped her formula in the container and we'll just take that. Bob's your uncle. 
Clearly I can't measure formula because that's way too much. Um, Miss Kingsley? Miss Kingsley? Hi, pretty girl. Hello. Oh, what you doing? What you doing, you? Mommy, love you. Are you ready to go? Can come down and play for a minute? Tummy time? Exercise? Let's go. You're going to turn for mommy? So about two weeks ago, she did her first turn from her front to her back. So when she was on tummy time. And she is so close, aren't you? So close to turning from her back to her front. She probably won't do it now because she's being a, what are you being, like a slug right now? Just, just laying there? Big blob? Because you just wake up? Yeah? No, later when the music's on and the house is happening, she'll do her active exercise, won't you? Yeah, I can't blame you. I don't want to do active exercise either. Yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty good. So I read that babies... Oh, how old? I read that baby's four months should be able to turn both ways. So she's obviously coming up four months next week. You love listening to me talk, don't you? Don't you do it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the only thing that she's not doing, but I looked online and it said that babies don't do it, like they do it between four months and six months, is grasping. She's not going to like get like grab anything that I put in front of her like you can put anything in front of her and she doesn't like go to get it see um yeah so she's not at that stage yet I'm assuming that will come next she is in the middle of her four month leap on wonder the wonder weeks app she is in her it's a six week leap this one we were really worried about it actually because the last ones it was like clockwork you could tell when the leap was happening and everyone was miserable and you wouldn't sleep and you're waking up all day and all night wait yeah look <laughs> but um yeah like i said with everything that's been going on and everything we have you on we haven't noticed a difference thank gosh we're a week into it so yeah what was i even saying yes so anyway after this leap, apparently they're meant to start grasping things. So I'm not too worried. Although there were, I was speaking to this lady on Instagram who saw a video of Kingsley turning, the one that I just will put up on the screen, like here or here or here. Or, anyway, it'll be on the screen. So she saw that and she wrote me a message saying, well done, my daughter can't, like she's just a blob, like she's not moving around on the ground or anything like that. And basically they're the same age. And I just wrote to her and said, well, uh, no, sorry. Then she wrote, she's grasping, oh, pick your eye, mum, pick it, pick your eye, mum. Yeah, she's grasping toys and whatnot, but she's just not like turning. She's not trying to turn, nothing. So I wrote back and I was like, well, that sort of makes me feel better. <laughs> um, and just goes to show they're all different because I, I said Kingsley's not grasping anything. So if your daughter is grasping before moving, like turning, then that's great. Like, I guess we all work in different ways, don't we? The thing that was freaked me out is that I looked back on my son's baby book. Now, he was a freak, like a freak of nature. But as I said, he was sick. He had reflux and all that. And he was really stressed. And I... I remember it caused his body to be really rigid. When you're stressed, obviously you're like rigid and like you just want to like move. You're never comfortable or relaxed. He rolled at five weeks. Five weeks. You were 13 weeks, weren't you? You took your time, girl. You took your time, girl. You, you did do that. Um, yeah, so you just can't compare really. You just can't because I could have three children and all of them are going to be different. Another thing that she's not really doing is laughing. She laughed once at the TV, of all things, at 11 weeks. The TV. I don't even let her watch TV. But there was a kid's show on. She saw it and she giggled. 
And then she has never laughed again. No matter how hard we try, she'll just smile, but she will not laugh at us. Whereas my son, both my sons were laughing hysterically at 10 weeks. I have them on video and it states 10 weeks. So how can you, how can you compare? Like I just, yeah, I don't know. Hello. Are you gonna roll? Are you gonna do anything? Or are you just in the mood where you're gonna scream? Why don't you try rolling off your back then, onto your back then? Yeah, try rolling. Come on, try rolling for mama. Come on. Yeah, one roll and then we're, I'm going to be happy. Okay? Good girl. You're very smart. So, whew, my back is killing me. So, we went to skating. I left here just after I last spoke to you. So, I left here about 20 past three and she ended up falling asleep in my arms. I thought she doesn't look tired at all because she gets so excited with all like the skaters and the, you know, she really gets excited. Like she starts kicking her legs, almost like giggling, but not giggling. If she gig, trust you, you will probably giggle at skating, I reckon, over the, the kids at skating. So then I thought I'll just try because it's nearly been, you know, an hour and a half, two hours. So I just like turned her in towards my body and laid her flat. And yeah, nevertheless, she stuck her head right under my underarm again, which is her sign that she's tired and she wants to go to sleep. And literally like a few pats and whatnot, and she was asleep. So she's only slept for 20 minutes. She ended up waking at five o'clock because as I said, she doesn't sleep well in like out and about. So she had 20 minutes and she woke at the right time, five o'clock. And now we are just back home. So... She's staring at herself in the mirror at the moment. So John will be home in about half an hour, which is then when we start our uh, night routine. So at six o'clock, we go up, have a, give her a shower. We turn all the down lights off. So we'll keep these ones on. I'll switch her camera around. So we leave these lights on, but we turn all the down lights off. Um, and we do that just because, you know, w w blue light, it's white light, clearly, but it's like for, for, for less, for us, fluorescent light, fluorescent, <laughs> fluorescent light is not good and it like stimulates their brain. So we turn that all off and then we bring her bag down here, put her in her bag, give her her bottles, give her all of her nighttime medicines before shuffling her off to bed. So that is what we will do. Look at this. What are you doing? What are you doing, Bindi? Do you want to come in? Didn't uh, did I leave the door shut on you? I'm sorry. That wasn't deliberate. Come on in. She is 13 years old soon. She's blind as a badger. Like blind as anything. She can't see. She walks into things. Sometimes she'll just walk into the wall, won't you, Ben? Hmm? What do we say? What do we say? Do you want to do the sign-off? Do you want to do it? No? Okay. I will. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. I really appreciate you tuning in for Kingsley's three-and-a-half-month update. And Kingsley appreciates you tuning in for her three and a half month update. Oh, that was a mouthful. Don't you, sweetheart? Yep. So our next few videos will be on baby led weaning and starting all that journey. So thanks again. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Bye. Boosh. Oh.